Wait a second. What's that in there? All right, everybody, I guess uh, we're finishing out. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a vlog type thing and kind of running out of ideas on what to do here, but I'm gonna have to pull all these tubs. Okay, I already took all the name tags off, pulling all these tubs and cleaning them. Have them on paper right now. I had ran out of Repti chips, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everybody back on Repti chip because I don't think they're too happy with being on paper. I know a lot of people still have them on paper, but I feel like these guys were, they were uh, spoiled. I'm gonna call it spoiled. And I need to go ahead and get them back on that. I feel like they're do a little better with shedding and everything else like that. So here's uh, the rep chip in the bucket, my rep chip holder underneath it. And I'm gonna go outside and handle this thing. All right, guys, gals, here we go. Mixing up the Repti chip, should be fun. I do that same method uh, Justin Kobelka does, and it works out pretty good. I uh, just fill up uh, a tub with water, and I submerge the Repti chip all the way in it. I uh, kind of wait for the bubbles to stop going. I uh, take it out. It's pretty much already breaking up. I let it, I let it all drip, and then I put it into my my holding tank uh, there over there and break it all apart and kind of mix it. But so that's what we're doing right now. Really fun. It's really cold out here in Arizona too right now, so that makes for a lot more excitement. Go and grab your fancy reservoir tank. Ugh. Let the water run off. Good stuff. At least as much as possible, right? There we go, falling apart. Boom. And that's how you break for a ripped chip. And it is stupid easy that way. And the dang thing, it, I mean, it essentially just comes apart. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, so there's the Repti chip, obviously. And then here is our water. That's left over. Kind of gross, brown water, always a good sign. But yeah, there's that all set up. I mean, it's ready to roll. Now off to go uh, into the old snake den and put this stuff to work. So Okay, here we go. Get the old stuff going here. I do about one of these dust pans per tub. You know, give or take. Sweet. And then that turns out something like that. Looks pretty good. 
like I said, about one dust pan full. Whatever this size is, let's see if we can focus. I don't know, it's about that big. It's actually, I feel like a fairly large one, but yeah, there's that. And that's sort of the, the start of the process. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go get some water in this bad dog for uh, the water bowls. Okay, here we go. Five gallon bucket full of water. And I come over here. Find whichever one is actually open. There it is. I got one left. Take this. There's my deli cup. Scoop it in the water. Come over here. Put her in. And that's, uh, there it is. There's the process. I know. Kind of crazy. No one else that's ever watched this video would ever realize this is what it's like to clean snake cages. <laughs> but yeah, sort of just kind of doing a day, a day in the thing, a day in the thing, a day in the uh, life of a caregiver of snakes. All right, here is, whew, finding the camera angle. Here is Randy. I believe, I believe it's Randy. He is the uh, leopard yellow belly, and he is my clown pie project. I am pumped on him. He is awesome. Love the leopard gene. Love what it can do. But yeah, here's a quick showcase on a little snake, huh? There we go. All right, so pull him out. Put his hide in. Go from there. All right, y'all, here's 11. Doing a little showcase, looking pretty. There she is. Okay, guys, here we go. This is, uh, I just wanted to show you guys where I get my rats from and kind of how they package it. Uh, Lane Laboratories, I believe they're right out there in California. That's really good for me being out here in Arizona, so that works out pretty good. <laughs> Shipping's pretty expensive, so I usually buy in bulk, as usual, as you probably do as well if you buy frozen feeders. But I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, I already cut this open, uh, removed that. Don't want anybody to know my address. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> but, all right, I'm gonna pull this out and show you guys uh, how they do it. So I'm gonna set this bad dog down, get her situated, okay. Um, styrofoam, pretty much ice chest. Ice chest lid, fancy, right? Pretty cool. Um, and then uh, pretty much, since you know we're shipping to Arizona, uh, just a load of dry ice. In the winter, usually it's not this much actually, but uh, yeah, can't complain. There is a bunch in here. So, these bad dogs were not de -thawing. But here we go. Got the uh, rats. Did a pretty decent order. Stepping up some of my girls to mediums, so pretty excited about that. Got the medium rats, small rats. Uh, what else did we get here? Get this out of the way here. Just flip the little camera here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, medium rat again. 25 weaned. Um, I've never had an order from them yet where they have contacted me and said I can't order it. Uh, I know for the most part rats are, they're almost in, sh you know, short supply. I know there's a kind of an issue with them in the coast that I've heard about on that uh, all shit podcast. Um, so excited about that. Excited that I've never had to uh, redo this or wait on an order. But every time I order, they come. And the quality of the feeders is awesome. Uh, I couldn't be more happy. It only takes like three days to get here. I mean, I'm in Arizona, it's just one state over. But got a bucket of uh, bucket of rats here in my uh, in my house. You know, most people get uh, food orders, and I get rat orders. So, and that just uh, go ahead and add this into the the freezer that's already there but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick video 
Uh, nothing too special, just kind of an update on what's going on here. And uh, show you guys the rats. Like I said, couldn't be more happy with, uh, with their product, with the uh, feeders that I do get from them. I feel like they're of high quality. Um, they are what they say. I think it's really cool too, they do a, uh, they do a small medium um, wrap that I've, I've been using actually. Uh, it's that in between, you know, I, I like how they have kind of an in between animal uh, available to feed your snakes. So that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty pumped on that. But yeah, there it is guys. Anyways, oh, let's see, pan over here. Let's see what's going on here. Yep, there's the reef tank doing what it can. But at any rate, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this was kind of a little segment. Uh, oh, wonder how that got there. Check your tubs. Stupid sucks. All right. So as you can see, got a got a snake in here. Um, came in here. Accidentally left the tub open. Obviously, that's not his. This is his. It was like that. I screwed up. I screwed up. Every once in a while, come to notice that uh, the human makes the mistake. It's rare that the snake does something wrong. It's more us doing something wrong. And I obviously screwed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this snake out of there if I have to disassemble a lot of the rack. Uh, so yeah. Last time you checked in here on this massive whatever video I'm doing here, I was cleaning tubs. Obviously, forgot to shut that one all the way, so we had an adventurer all night. So, here we go. Time to get this organized. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Screwdriver. That'll fix it. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. That was exciting. All right, there we go, guys. Got him out. Uh, we got to go out on a little cruise. Look how pretty he is, anyway. But. All right, guys, I think that's going to conclude this week's what it's like to uh, hang out with snakes all the time. Hope you guys enjoyed all this. It's a little random, but I think I'm going to kind of maybe start doing this, putting a bunch of videos together and just showing you kind of what I do all week. Uh, so at any rate, thank you guys again. Uh, give me a like if you liked it. Let me know what you guys think. Blah, blah, blah. Just uh, trailing the snake here, doing the walk. Always good right? Um, anyways, guys and gals, Joel signing off.